Hello and welcome to my podcast. Today I will be the armchair GM for the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Dallas Stars. I will first be the armchair GM for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Then I will move on and be the armchair GM for the Dallas Stars. I will get started with the Columbus Blue Jackets first. The key free agents for the Blue Jackets are Seth Jones, who's an RFA, Renee Bork, who's a UFA, and Roland Carlson, who is a RFA. The first player they should re-sign is Seth Jones. He is going to be a key part of their core for many years to come. He needs to be locked up to a long-term extension. The next thing to do is to buy out David Clarkson's atrocious contract. He is getting paid $5.2 million a year for the next five years. He's not going to be any more than a fourth-line player. So I suggest that they buy out his contract ASAP so that that contract or salary per season can go to more useful players. The next thing to do is to trade Scott Hartnell to the New York Islanders, and he has to wait his new movement clause to do so to the New York Islanders in exchange for Anders Lee and a third round pick in this year's draft. The next thing is to move Feder Tutin, who also has a no movement clause, to the Montreal Canadiens for a fourth round pick in 2016 and a seventh round pick in 2018. This move makes t- sense on both parts. First, for the Scott Hartnell trade, the Islanders need a top-line left winger to play alongside John Tavares. Scott Hartnell would offer a bodyguard-type player for John Tavares, and he is also a good player when playing alongside star players like Tavares. Uh, For the Blue Jackets side, Anders Lee is a good, solid young player, and you also get a third round pick in the deal. Fedor Tutin is a veteran defenseman who's taking up $4.5 million of salary. And the Montreal Canadiens need a veteran defenseman because they are trying to make the playoffs. But the Blue Jackets, the way the team is right now, they're not looking to make the playoffs anytime soon as they trade Mark. Ryan Johansson, they are looking to be rebuilding again. The next thing on this list is to trade Sonny Milano to the St. Louis Blues for Vince Dunn, who is one of their better defensive prospects. In a hockey future, he's ranked 7.5C which is a pretty good prospect rating. I think this makes sense for both teams because St. Louis needs some forward prospects to fill out their depth. And the Columbus Blue Jackets need a defensive prospect desperately. As um, Zach Wentowski Wierkowski is not quite ready yet. Wierenski, sorry. Wierenski is still not ready for the NHL. He's at least uh, another one or two years away. So until Wierenski gets is ready, uh, Vince Dunn would help out the depth. Another player is uh, Mike Weber. Mike Weber could help the depth out. Brian Strait is another player. Both these players would help the Blue Jackets, and one-year deals would be good. All right. And then, in summary, the players that the Blue Jackets would add are Anders Lee, Mike Weber, and Brian Strait. The players they would lose are Sonny Milano, Federer Tutin, David Clarkson, Renee Bork, and Scott Hartnell. So after all is said and done, this is how the Blue Jackets lineup will look 
in the season opener. Boot Jenner, Brandon Dubinsky, this Cam asking Atkinson is the first line. Anders Lee, Alexander Wenberg, and Brandon Saad is the second line. Nick Foligno, William Carlson, and Oliver Borkstrand is the third line. The fourth line is Matt Calvert, Gregory Campbell, and Josh Anderson. The first defensive pair is Ryan Murray, Seth Jones. The second defensive pair is Jack Johnson, that David Savard. The third defensive pair is Mike Weber and Don Pro. And the seventh defenseman is Brian Strait. The goaltenders would be Sergei Borovsky and Jonas Corpusalo. So that's the Columbus Blue Jackets Archer GM. Now on to the Dallas Stars Armchair GM. After gearing up for a cap run, cup run, sorry, the Dallas Stars have many UFAs to resign, including Chris Russell, Alex Golagowski, Jason Demers, Vernon Fiddler, and Patrick Eves. They also have Travis Moen, Colton Seaver, and Jordy Ben, who are UFAs. They also have some key UFAs. RFAs to resign like Valerie Trushkin and Jordy uh, Brett Ritchie. The first order of priority is resigning Chris Russell. Chris Russell is a top four defenseman that plays in all situations, so look for him to get locked up. While Jason Demers and Alex Golgowski are good defensemen, Chris Russell has more value because he'll be a veteran defenseman for the younger defenseman, and he can play in all situations, which is very key. Whereas Alex Golagowski isn't as good a penalty killer as Russell is, and Jason Demers, while he's younger than Chris Russell is, he isn't quite as good as Chris Russell is. The second is to resign Valerie Nishushkin, who despite a slow start, is still a very good young player. Next is to resign Brett Ritchie and Jamie Alexiak to qualifying offers. They should resign Vernon Fiddler to a three year deal. Vernon Fiddler is a very underrated player. He's very important to the Dallas Stars because he's one of the key face-off men. He can be a third or fourth line center, but mostly on the third line, third or fourth line. And he's a key penalty killer too. They should sign Luke Shen to a two-year deal as a free agent and bring in Steve Bernier for some depth. Final thing is to bring up Julius Honka full time. So after all is said and done, the additions to the team are Luke Shen, Steve Bernier, and Julius Honka. They would have lost Alex Golagowski, Jason Demers, Patrick Eves, Travis Moen, Moen, sorry, Colton Seeger, and Jordy Ben. So this is how the stars lineup will look after all is said and done. The first line would be Jamie Benn, Cody Egan, and Tyler Sagan. The second line would be Patrick Sharp, Jason Spezza, and Valerie Nishustin. The third line is Antoine Roussel, Radek Vasca, and Alex Hemsky. The fourth line is Matthias Janmark, Vernon Fiddler, and Brett Ritchie. The first defensive pair is Chris Russell and John Klingberg. The second defensive pair is Johnny Oduya and Stephen Johns. The third defensive pair is Luke Shen and Julie Tonka. The seventh defenseman is Patrick Nemeth. The goaltenders are Kari Leighton and Antti Niemi. So that's the Dallas Stars armchair GM. That will wrap it up for the armchair GM for the Columbus Blue Jackets and Dallas Stars. Next episode, 
I will be the armchair GM for the Detroit Red Wings and the Edmonton Oilers.